Scientists agree the climate is changing and human behavior is responsible. Increased industrial activity and consumption is releasing harmful gases into the atmosphere. And if these emissions continue to rise, the impacts on people's lives, the environment, and the economic infrastructure will be devastating. ADB's mission uh, is uh, aiming towards a, an Asia-Pacific region free of poverty. And with climate change impacts intensifying, you have the poor suffering the most and the first. So we cannot achieve our mission without addressing climate change. The Asia and the Pacific region, with over 50% of the world's population and two-thirds of its poor, is the fastest growing source of new greenhouse gas emissions and has the greatest number of people at risk to climate change consequences. ADB is investing more than $2 billion per year in clean energy projects and continues to be a strong advocate for climate change action in Asia and the Pacific. We came up with five areas. Uh, clean energy, that's renewable energy expansion as well as energy efficiency. Second is on sustainable transport and urban development. Third is on reduced emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, the so-called red area, and that's trying to address deforestation-based uh, carbon dioxide emissions primarily. Fourth is on climate change adaptation and building resilience to the already inevitable impacts of climate change, and there are many. And the fifth are cross-cutting policy and institution, capacity development needs. Solutions to climate change hinge largely on how quickly the expanding economies of Asia and the Pacific can move to a low-carbon and climate-resilient development path. ADB will continue to play a strong role in the Asia and the Pacific region and welcomes further partnerships with developed and developing nations and leading knowledge institutions to meet this huge challenge.